It's like a tale out of a horror movie. A man-eating tree, living in the deepest, darkest part of the jungle, grabs its prey and eats it. Locals, in fear of their lives and in fear of the horrific monster plant, bring sacrificial victims to it, hoping that they won't be the next victim. In a paper called the South Australian Register, an explorer writes of his experiences describing the plants as having the fury of starved serpents and a demonic intelligence. He talks of how the arms of the plant coil themselves around its victims like great big anaconda grab their prey. The victims scream and struggle, but are ultimately devoured by the tree. Are these stories real? There are indeed claims of man-eating trees, and specifically tales of such trees in the country of Madagascar, going back 130 years. One of the most infamous trees, sometimes referred to as the Madagascar tree, was the one that was reported and described in so much detail in the South Australian Register in 1881. The explorer claimed that the Makoto tribe of Madagascar performed sacrifices to this meat-loving tree. Rumors of this tree and its horror spread quickly and others started to spread the word as well. Most notably, an American politician and former governor of Michigan named Chase Osborne wrote a book talking about the man-eating Madagascar tree. Fears of being eaten by the tree became widespread. And then, in 1955, author Willie Lev came out with a book entitled Salamanders and Other Wonders. The book claimed that both the tree and the Makoto tribe were just hoaxes. They were just made-up stories. Hearing that, the hysteria died down and everyone agreed that no such tree could ever have existed. But the question remains, why would a politician make up stories about a tree that eats humans? And could a carnivorous tree like that ever exist? Many think that the whole man-eating story was indeed a hoax, but others think that perhaps it was true at one point, but now those types of trees have become extinct. While it's certainly terrifying to think that there are trees that can reach out and grab you, it's not too very far-fetched. It's fairly well known that there are many carnivorous plants in the world. Plants like the Venus flytrap and the pitcher plant are well known to trap and digest their prey. Most commonly, that prey includes flies, moths, butterflies, and other insects. But on some rare occasions, there are documented reports of the occasional rat, bird, or frog being consumed. If something the size of a rat can be eaten by a plant, could a human be eaten by a plant as well? So far, there are no documented pictures of Venus flytraps or pitcher plants that would be large enough to consume a person. But just because something hasn't been documented yet doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Every day, new species are being discovered in the most remote parts of the jungle. And in fact, there are still areas of the world which are so remote that they are little explored, including some parts of Africa, New Guinea, and the Amazon. Who knows what's out there waiting to be discovered. Oh, what was that? 